problem. Now, for iPhone, we recommend using the cable. However, we also offer wireless adapter. You can purchase our wireless adapter that allows you to mirror iPhone or Android wirelessly. For Android, we recommend using wireless adapter if you don't have HDMI on your Android. Front view camera here. That's your front view camera. You got left lane watch camera. This is not a parking camera. This is a driving camera for blind spot. You adjust it any way you like. And this particular camera that we're demoing has line. Cadillac Escalade presented on Cadillac SRX. Cadillac Escalade and Cadillac SRX share 100% identical screens, even if the dashboard appears to be a little bit different. Quality products since 2002. See description below the video for more product information. Must expand description section of watching this video on mobile device. This is a demo of iPhone and Android smartphone mirroring plus 4 camera inputs. Interface compatible with Cadillac Q. This interface does not replace a factory radio or a screen. It enhances the factory screen with features such as Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, HDMI mirroring and extra cameras. All factory features work as before. This interface is see-through. The vehicle does not detect that it is installed in the car. This product is 100% designed and manufactured in the USA. Please support American jobs. This product is 100% automotive grade product. This is a two-part video we're going to show you installation and we're going to show you user guide of the or video type user menu for this product we're going to show you first how to use the product then how to install it installation is kept very simple it takes two three minutes to install it typically installation is done behind the glove box in the car so Behind the glove box, you find connector like this. Unplug it, plug in factory connector in here, and plug this back into the module. 100% plug and play. Then you got a second connector. It's going to be black in color. Unplug it, plug the supplied one back into the module, plug this in here. You're going to plug in the factory connector. Take the main harness that we supplied you with, you know, remove the tie wrap. This is your camera input audio, and this has your uh, microphone if you install an Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. You take, since you already installed this harness, it joins together like this. Then you got it. this joins together to the secondary harness. Then you plug this into the module. Then you're going to find another module. It's all located next to each other behind the glove box. That's going to have this kind of blue connector. You're going to unplug it. You're going to plug in the factory connector into the supplied connector that we're going to give you. And then you're going to connect another connector. So basically, you have a factory connector that goes in here and then the supplied connector because we're going to give you two cables. So you unplug one from the car, you plug in here and this plugs in back into the car. And you plug in here and in here. It's all OEM connectors. So the entire installation process after you remove the glove box will take approximately two to three minutes. In the next step, we're going to show you process of software updating. This feature is only available from our company. This guarantees your latest software and firmware without any error or bugs during the installation process. No one else offers this feature. Those cannot guarantee you error-free installation. Do not forget to program the interface. All interfaces are stripped blank as they need to be configured by the installer or end user. Programming process will take less than one minute and can be performed using Windows or Mac computer. How to update the software? It doesn't matter what you're updating, whether you're updating camera interface, video in motion interface, wireless mirroring interface, or Apple CarPlay interface. The process of update is identical. Updater works on Mac and Windows based PC, so we have for both Windows and Mac. To update, you need a cable like this, it's a standard cable. 
one end of the cable is micro USB and the other is a standard USB. This goes into the computer and the micro USB goes into the interface. Connect this end into the computer, macro windows. Connect the other end into your interface you're updating. Again, any interface. Once the interface is connected, everything information is going to appear on the screen and install desired software. Just for the test purposes, we're going to show you how to update it with uh, Cadillac CTS software, video in motion, and hit install. So now it's installing and shows you progress bar and a percentage. So it takes only seconds to update it. So you download the updater from the website for Mac or Windows, that's going to take you approximately 60 seconds. And then the update process takes only another minute or so. This is how to update the interface. So we're showing you the update process. And the entire process only takes less than a minute. Okay, the update process is done and it's 99%. It says do not disconnect. In about a second, it's going to tell you that it's complete and you can disconnect the interface. There you go. Device settings updated and you're done. So entire update process takes only about two minutes. You download software from the website for Mac on Windows, about a minute, and update takes another minute. And all you need is a cable like this. So USB cable to micro USB. Compatible with iOS 5 and iOS 6 radios with or without navigation system. This interface can be installed in Cadillac Q, also Buick, Chevrolet, and GMC vehicles. This interface is compatible with iOS 5 and iOS 6 Buick, Chevrolet, Cadillac, and GMC vehicles. It allows you to add smartphone mirroring for iPhone and Android, four cameras, Apple CarPlay, and Android Auto. If your vehicle is equipped with factory Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, you don't have to worry about that because your factory Apple CarPlay and Android Auto will work as before. This is an optional module for Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. If your vehicle has that from factory, you don't have to purchase it. You will continue to use your factory Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Apple CarPlay and Android Auto is identical to factory equipped vehicles for 2018-2019. However, this interface is compatible with all iOS 5 and iOS 6 navigation and non-navigation vehicles starting from 2013 all the way to 2019 with GMC IntelliLink, Chevrolet MyLink, Buick IntelliLink, and Cadillac Q. So all vehicles are compatible. You can contact us for detailed compatibility. But the Apple CarPlay and Android Auto module is optional. So if you just want mirroring plus four cameras, this module you don't have to purchase if you don't want it or your vehicle is already equipped with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Interface feature demonstration. This is the new 5.0 menu. This is made in USA. This is unique and original to us. This is the new 5.0 interface. You got two digital connectors, main connector, got HDMI port for mirroring, USB port for Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, status LEDs, Bluetooth, and upgrade update port. This interface comes with HDMI input for mirroring and four camera inputs. You have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto additional. We will pre-install it for you inside the interface. So it's not going to be a separate adapter. If you order Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, if your vehicle is not equipped with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto and you want to purchase it, it will be pre-installed inside the box. So when you get this box, it's going to look identical. However, you will have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto installed inside. If you just order mirroring interface, it's going to have HDMI for mirroring and four camera inputs. Interface camera inputs demonstration. Vehicle is equipped with a factory rear view camera. Your factory rear view camera will work as before without any changes. Now let's demo some of the features. 
you got rear view camera option if your vehicle is not equipped with rear view camera. If your vehicle is equipped with one, then it will work as before without any changes. There's no signal here because nothing is connected. However, you can add rear view camera, but you will have to route it. If you have factory camera, you can route it through here, but you will lose factory moving lines. Other than that, you can install additional rear view camera or just have a factory rear view camera that will work automatically in reverse. We got front view camera here. That's your front view camera. You got left lane watch camera. This is not a parking camera. This is a driving camera for blind spot. You adjust it any way you like. And this particular camera that we're demoing has lines. You can purchase one without lines. We have right lane watch camera that has also lines. You can purchase camera without lines and it watches your right side. Again, this camera just for demo. They're not adjusted, but so you get an idea. You see your right side of your vehicle and over here you have left side of your vehicle and over here you have a front of your vehicle. To get out to the main menu, press this button. Now, you got HDMI for mirroring and you got Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. So over here, this is your Android Auto. You press here to exit. This returns back to the menu. These are your interface settings. In settings, you got brightness adjustment for the inputs. Each input can be adjusted individually. Bluetooth settings for optional Bluetooth module and factory reset. To exit settings, press here. To exit out of the interface, you press this power button that goes back to your factory screen and then all your factory features work as before. Whatever you press on the screen, this is going to work. When you press and hold in the top left corner a few seconds, it enters the interface and touchscreen takes over to the interface. Nothing in the background will be touched or the factory features will work. Because now we're controlling with this touchscreen our interface. Keep in mind, this is just a screen. Same screen as found in your house. It's the screen with the touchscreen. Everything that you see on here is an image that's coming from elsewhere in the car. So this is just the monitor that brings you the image to the screen. These apps are not built in here, they're elsewhere in the car. So we're using this as a screen. So let's say if you compare this to your home TV, this is HDMI input one. And when you press and hold, this is HDMI input two. So this interface has four camera inputs for left, right, rear and forward facing camera. The camera display can be activated manually or also activate with turn signals or gear shift. Automations, right? How this wall works when you're driving. Let's show you that. We're going to go ahead and exit out. So let's say you're driving. With the left turn signal, you will have left camera. Keep in mind, if you didn't install left camera, nothing will turn on. So when you're going to put a left turn signal, it will be as before. So let's put a left turn signal. You got your left side showing you blind spots or whatever going on left hand side. If you did not install left camera, it will continue to show original screen or anything else. Right camera, same thing, switches automatically to the right side. If you did not install right side camera, nothing will switch. In reverse, you got a factory rear view camera. If you have one, if your car is not equipped with one, you can add one. If you don't have a camera or vehicle is not equipped with one, nothing is going to happen. In drive, you got front view camera. Front view camera shuts off automatically after 10 miles an hour. If you didn't install front view camera, when you put it in drive, vehicle will switch over into the uh, factory menu. Now, let's say you in the interface mode and you're doing Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. Left turn signal, left camera, it goes back automatically. Right turn signal, right camera goes back automatically. In reverse, factory or aftermarket camera. In drive, front camera. Keep in mind, if you didn't add any of those cameras, it will not switch. So for example, if you're driving and you did not install left camera with the left turn signal on, you will not have anything on the screen because it will just continue to show factory, Android, Auto or Apple CarPlay. Let's exit out of Android Auto. But keep in mind one thing, while you're driving, you can choose to watch any camera. So look, I got a right lane watch camera, left lane watch camera, front camera. I can drive and watch these cameras at all times. 
or I can go back into the menu. Now, demo smartphone mirroring for iPhone and Android and optional wireless mirroring adapter. This is the only interface on the market with HD high definition smartphone mirroring. Let's do mirroring of HDMI. If you have multiple phones, what you can do is purchase something like this. This is an adapter. And then let's say if you plug an Android Auto in here or mirroring, let's say I plug an Android Auto, the icon is going to reappear. You see, because something is connected, you can install this anywhere in a car, typically in your armrest, and you can use it both for mirroring and Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, or just use it for charging of your phone, up to you. Now, let's do mirroring first. We're gonna do iPhone mirroring. So we're gonna connect our iPhone. So click on HDMI and there you go, you have your iPhone mirrored. You can mirror iPhone or Android, see this full mirroring. You can use all the applications work, Netflix, YouTube, Hulu. There is no restrictions, 100% of the applications work, no problem. Now, for iPhone we recommend using the cable. However, we also offer wireless adapter. You can purchase our wireless adapter that allows you to mirror iPhone or Android wirelessly. For Android, we recommend using wireless adapter if you don't have HDMI on your Android, but for iPhone, you can use whatever you like. However, keep in mind, if you use wireless iPhone, you will lose Netflix, YouTube, and Hulu. So we recommend using a wire. And um, iPhone was designed to be used with a wire, basically, so that you can mirror whatever you want to your phone screen. And no restrictions all applications work 100% if when you open the screen you feel like your image is stretched out just press one more time to re-enter it but it's see nice and tight all around okay so you can mirror iPhone or Android iPhone through HDMI that's recommended keep in mind it's not like in your living room where you need it wireless in the car it's easy to have it sitting in your armrest and you can mirror your iPhone and your Android. If your Android doesn't have HDMI or Type-C USB to HDMI, you will have to use a regular standard um, wireless adapter. You can use wireless for both, but this is mirroring, which means no controls from the screen. All controls are from your, from your iPhone or Android. To exit out of the screen, press here. No limitations on mirroring. This is an installation for Cadillac Q with or without navigation iOS 5 or iOS 6. However, this procedure is identical for all Buick, Chevrolet, Cadillac and GMC iOS 5 or iOS 6 with or without navigation. There is no difference as long as you have an 8 inch screen in your Buick, Chevrolet, Cadillac or GMC vehicle with or without navigation. and it's all the same because all those cars even though the appearance of the dashboard may be a little bit different however the screens and the screen modules are identical 2013 to 2019 with IO5, IO6, Q, Cadillac, Buick and GMC Intel Link or Chevy MyLink radius. Installation is super simple. You're gonna find the screen module And in the screen module, you will find a plug like this. You will unplug it and plug an hour supplied plug back in there. The factory plug, you're going to plug in into this kind of connector. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to plug them together. Now, so this you unplug from the car and you're going to have the same connector go back into the car. And then one you unplug from the car, you're going to plug it into the supplied one. Now you have two ends. You got an interface that have same connectors. Those are all original connectors. And you plug it in. Then you got the main module that you want to plug in. So the main module interface harness you're going to plug in here. You got your RCAs here for extra cameras if you're installing them and a microphone. Then you got this harness. You're going to find a harness connector like this at the screen module. You're going to unplug it plug in the factory in here and then this is going to go back into the screen module and you got two connectors one is going to plug in here 
and then you got a second radio module. You can unplug the connector like this, plug a factory in here, and then this goes back into the radio module, and this is going to join with this. So the entire installation process of this module takes approximately five minutes after you access the radio. A radio and the screen module, most of the Cadillacs and Chevys are behind the glove box. However, if in your car you don't find it behind the glove box, refer to the manual, we'll show you the locations. Most of the times it's either in a passenger kick panel or the driver's kick panel. Thank you for watching. Please click the logo on the left hand side to subscribe to the channel. Subscriptions work on smartphones, tablets and computers. Please like the video, please click the notification bell and please leave a comment about this video. If you want to watch another video, please click the video on the right hand side.